you're going to hear things that are right at the cutting edge of science. We had changed uh, wheat into franken wheat, and they didn't know it. You've got damage that needs to be repaired. You've got to get your adrenals back. You've got to get your thyroid back. You've got to reduce the inflammation. You've got to give your body super nutrients, good bacteria, digestive enzymes, and agents for the intestinal tract to heal itself. And they could not figure out why they couldn't walk. Paralyzed. And no one could explain why. Medical enigma. Three months later, 24 of the 25 could walk. I've seen so many healthy patients in their mid-80s, just fully vital, able to do almost anything they want to do. I so wish that all the gastroenterologists and neurologists and the psychiatrists and the obstetric gynecologists and the fertility specialists and the orthopedic surgeons and all these people would just get in a room and look at this stuff together. Doc, I am so suicidal. I'm on a road right now, right to your office. It's everything I can do to not drive this car into a bridge. She had introduced gluten just an hour before that. It is no longer the staff of life that it was promised. It has become this inflammatory force that has profoundly affected us, driving some of my patients to suicide. I see in this room here some of my patients that have been with me for over 20 years. That I told over 20 years ago to go off of gluten. So is this a fad? No, I think the public is waking up to the fact that there's something to this. That when they go off of gluten, they feel better. Welcome to functional medicine. You have to have friends, family, and people that you can relate to and share with. You need to be part of the web of community. That's why being local is so important. It should empower you to live an anti-inflammatory lifestyle that's clean so you can really fully live what God intended us to. So does that mean that everybody can benefit from going gluten-free? Yes. Gluten, hot, hot topic. It worries me a little bit because I've been in practice here for about 24 years now and I was first exposed to American medicine. If those of you that don't know me, I'm originally from the Netherlands. Uh, with a product called KM. I don't know if any of you remember KM. But here I was just practicing innocent little me and doing the thing that, I, that I've been taught to do. And this patient brought in this bottle. Here, doc. Saved me from whatever it was. I don't remember what it was, but basically saved his or her life. And it was a bottle called KM. And I thought, hmm, wow. Any good studies behind it? Oh yeah, there's lots of good studies behind it. And I just got pounded with all these pamphlets, very beautiful. And then, wouldn't you know it, the next day another one. And then another one. And I, pretty soon I was inundated with KM. Saved people's lives. Heard the same story over and over. I checked into it and it was nothing more than potassium with some weird herbs. No real studies behind it. But, hmm, interesting. Wouldn't you know it? A few months later, next thing comes across. And I was just been experiencing wave after wave of a product that seems to be catching hold. And I've soon figured out, okay, the Americans love fads. <laughs> now I definitely keep an open mind. Something comes across, I will check it out. I will definitely look at it. But as you can tell about 23 years later, I have a little sense of skepticism because of that. And it's a healthy skepticism. It's not closed-mindedness. That's real. There's an important difference. So gluten all of a sudden has hit the news. And I'm going, uh-oh. Because I don't want it to just be a fad because folks, it is more than a fad. I see in this room here some of my patients that have been with me for over 20 years. That I told over 20 years ago to go off of gluten to cure their autoimmune disease, whether it's MS, bipolar disorder, gut problems, weird skin issues. I can go on and on. Adult onset diabetes, 
obesity. And there were studies back then showing it, and the studies have just reached a crescendo, which I will present you with today, because I want to arm you with the fact that this is not a fad, this is real science, and it's been published in hundreds of, of different medically peer-reviewed articles. Medically peer-reviewed means that the best in the field have reviewed it, say, yep, this is good science, the study was, the, the study was well done. Uh, most of these studies took well 